Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. This is just a, a revision on three components that you, or aspects that you need to understand if, with regards to file systems and directories. Uh, there's three concepts. The one is called the working directory, the other one is called the absolute directory, and the other one is called a relative directory. And what you can see at the moment is a command prompt. And what we have, I've, I ran the, the, the tree command that will basically describe how the tree looks underneath this specific directory, meaning under C column backslash 10, backslash CSC3B file systems, we have two directories. One is called Gareth, the other one is called John. Under Gareth, we've got two subdirectories. One is called personal, one is, one is called projects. And under personal, we've got a file called mypix. And on the projects, we've got project list. And under John, we've got work stuff. The question can be, what is the current working directory? Well, the current working directory is the directory where you are currently active in. And given the following screen, this is the working directory. So if, if, if this is represented or, or asked for you in a test, you have to say the working directory is C column backslash temp, C is, uh, backslash CSC 3B file systems, backslash Gareth, backslash projects, All right? That is the working directory. Then, um, what is, and then this is the, the, well, I will ask you what is the absolute path name for the working directory? And then that would be C column backslash temp, um, CSC 3B file systems, Gareth projects, and so on. Then uh, the second type of question that can be asked is, what is the relative path name for a file, let's say mypix.txt, given or from the current working directory. Okay, so the current working directory is this project. So we're currently in this directory right here. And if I ask you what is the relative path name for mypix.txt from the current working directory, then it would flow something like this. So from projects, we have to go one directory up. Now to go one directory up, we have to go to the double dot directory. Double dot is a special directory name, which is the parent directory of projects. So if we go from projects, the parent directory of projects is Gareth. So double dot, and then from double dot, we go to personal, and then from personal, we go to mypix, uh, mypix.txt. Okay, so the, this is a relative path name or relative file name, well, path name for the file mypix.txt from our current working directory. Okay, so remember the double dot backslash. That describes the parent of my current working directory. The parent is Gareth. Now, let's have a look. If I ask you something else, what is the relative path name for workstuff.txt. Now I'm currently in projects. So if I go to, if I have to, from here, describe to get to workstuff, I have to go one directory up into Gareth. Now Gareth and John has a parent directory called CC3B file system. So from Gareth, it's the parent file system, CEC3B file systems. And then from there, there's a subdirectory called John, and under John, we've got work stuff. So let's see how we type this. So parent directory, now we're in Gareth. Gareth's parent directory, and then John, and then workstuff.txt. And that is the relative path name for workstuff.txt from the current working directory. Okay, that's it. Long and short. Please that know that you that you can apply these things and that uh, you can expect this potentially inside the semester test and maybe even in the exam. Thank you.